another way to get rid of muddy gradients, one that does work if you're going strictly from one process color to another process color, is to use mixed ink colors. Here I've got my rectangles. Simple, one color to another color, two color gradients. You can see that here on the gradient panel. The first color is cyan. 100% cyan, 0% magenta, yellow, and black. The other color is pure black. Now I want to use just these two inks. I don't want to add yellow or magenta anywhere in there. I'm trying to create a monochrome effect. So I just want cyan and black. Those are the only two inks I want. But I want a better looking gradient than that. I'm going to select the bottom one here and we'll work with that. You can see, again, the bottom one here is still pure cyan going to pure black. Now, you cannot create a mixed ink from two process colors. Instead, you have to turn one of them into a spot color. So I'm going to take this cyan color, I'm going to drag it down to the new swatch, and that creates a copy of it. So then I will drag that up to the color ramp and replace my original cyan with that. So now it's working on this. I'll then highlight this and choose swatch options. I'll turn it from process to spot and hit OK. Now, I should have given it a name, but new color swatch stands out just fine. Now I'm going to go to the swatches panel and choose new mixed ink swatch. And I'll call this C2K gradient. All right. Now, here, new color swatch is my spot color that I just created. So I need to turn that on. And then I want to turn on process black. And I want both of them to be 100%. Let's move this just a bit. And either click add or OK. In this case, I don't need to make multiple. So I'm just going to click OK. And I get that. Now I take this and I drag it and replace my black color stop with it. And you can see I get a much smoother gradient now. In fact, it creates shaded colors of cyan instead of the upper version where the cyan pretty much stops right in the middle and then it fades to black. We get a much smoother gradient and we get rid of that muddiness just by using the mixed ink swatch. And of course, this same method works for other colors. You don't have to be stuck with just cyan, magenta, and yellow mixed with black. I could go to the flyout menu and choose new color swatch, and we'll call it a spot color, and we'll choose from, let's say, Pantone Solid Coated, and we'll just pick that. No, we'll go with that. And hit OK. So now, go back to my linear gradient here, and I'll choose New Mixed Ink Swatch. And I'll choose the Pantone 286C and black and 100%. And PMS 286C plus 100% K. And OK. So now, Take this color swatch and drag it to one end of the color ramp. And sometimes you wind up with extra color stops, so I'll move that off of there. And then I'll take the mixed ink and drag it to the other end. And now we get a nice smooth gradient there. So it works with anything that you can turn into a spot color. You could use this method exclusively. You don't have to use the prior method. But it's good to know both ways because one sometimes works better than the other.